consider the virtual page reference string on a demand paged virtual memory system running on a computer system that main memory size of three page frames which are initially empty. Let LRU, FIFO and optimal denote the number of page faults under the corresponding page replacement policy. Then we have to find out that in which case the maximum number of page faults are going to occur. So this is the page reference string. These are the page numbers that are given to us and we have to now see that if we are given a main memory which has only three page frames then how these page references will be handled. So in the first case when we have the first in first out page replacement policy let us see how these will be handled. So we have these three page frames in the main memory. So the first reference is to page one and this is going to be a page fault because we have assumed that the memory is initially empty. So wherever there is a fault I am going to put, a, put an arrow over here. So there is a page fault and one is brought into a page frame. Then a reference for two a fault again so two is brought in. Three again a page fault so three. Then two this is a hit because two is already present here in the memory. Then four again is a page fault but if we talk about the first in first out and if we look at this this one was the page that was brought in first so this is going to be replaced by four then again a reference to one which was just taken out so that means it is a page fault again and now we, if we look at two three and four then page number two was brought in first so two will be replaced by one then there's a reference to three which is a hit a reference to two which is a page fault again now out of these pages 4, 1 and 3, so 3 was brought here, 4 was brought here and 1 was brought here. So 3 is the one that will be replaced by 2, 4 which is a hit and 1 which is a hit again. So if we count the number of page faults, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 number of page faults in FIFO. Let's discuss the LRU which is the least recently used page replacement policy. So obviously the first three page references are going to be page faults because the memory is empty. Two is a hit. Then there is four. So now we have to replace the page which was least recently used. We see that two was used very recently. Then three was used slightly earlier to that. And one is the page that was used very, very early on. So this one will be replaced by four and four was actually a page fault. Then we have a reference to one again, which will be a page fault. Out of four, two and three, four has been used just now. Two has been used also and three was the one which was used very early on. So three will be replaced by one. Then there is three again, a reference to three. So out of one, two and four, so we see that 2 was least recently used, so it is replaced by 3. Again a reference to 2, so out of 3, 1 and 4, 4 will be replaced by 2. Again a reference to 4, so out of 2, 3 and 1, 1 will be replaced by 4. And again a reference to 1, so now if we see out of 4, 2 and 3, 3 will be replaced by 1. So if we count the number of page faults, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 page faults in LRU. Let's see how many page faults we will have in optimal. Again, 1, 2 and 3, these will be page faults. Now there is a reference to 2 which is a hit. Now a reference to 4 which is a page fault. Now we have to see which page will be replaced. If we follow the optimal page replacement policy, that means that page which will be replaced, which is not going to be used in future for a very long time. So if we see one is going to be used very recently, three is also going to be used very recently. So two is the page which is further away in the future. So we are going to replace two and put four over here. Now when we come to this reference of one, 
Now 1 is a hit because it is there in the memory. 3 is also a hit, it is there in the memory. 2, now 2 is a page fault and now if we look further over here, we see that 4 is also going to be used and 1 is also going to be used. So we will replace 3 by 2. Now when there is a reference to, next reference to 4, so 4 is a hit and next reference is 1, 1 is also a hit. So if we count the number of page faults, the number of page faults are 5. So we have the least number of page faults in optimal, then in FIFO and then in LRU. So if we look at these options, then we see that optimal, FIFO and LRU. This is our answer. This is how the number of page faults are being done in these page replacement policies.